guys, welcome back to another Math and a Hoodie video. Today we are going to be talking about five ways to get your students or children excited about math. Now, this is probably as hard as pulling teeth for most of us as the majority of students aren't that excited about math. Um, but maybe with these five ways or tips that I've used, and if you have some more, maybe you can share them in the comments below. Maybe we can help increase the participation in our math classes. Okay, so tip number one to increase your um, students' interest and get them excited about math is to have a weekly mathematician. <laughs> Can put this into the roles that your students rotate in or just rotate one student each week as the mathematician for younger grades they can wear a distinguished wizard hat um, when it's their week to be the mathematician or there could be a wand they use when they help you teach and some jobs that the mathematician could do um, would be to if you have daily assignments they do and then you correct them the next day you could have the mathematician be responsible for correcting and reading the correct answers out loud each day with the class you could have them help others with questions once an assignment has started once they're done with their uh, assignment they can help others who have questions by the students raising their hands um, they can help you set up for the math class they could pick out the daily manipulatives you're gonna use for the math class. If you have them in um, groups, like let's say you had um, the whole class sitting down and you were using erase boards to write answers on and, and show you, you can have the mathematician up there to help you point out who has the right answer. Um, they can also be in charge of timing any math starters that you may have in the class. Um, they could also help you write the math problems on the whiteboard, giving them any extra responsibility such as collecting math homework or passing out the math papers. They could be the mathematician of the week. So you could try that out and see, and I think with the younger grades, this would really be great. Another idea to get your students excited about math is to install individual rewards. Now I know some classes will do a class reward once we all turn in 80% of our assignments or once we've all passed off the certain multiplication tables, then we can do this as a class, which is a lot easier as the educator because then you just divvy out one reward and everyone can partake of it instead of divvying out individual rewards. However, in math, since uh, students are all on completely different levels, more so than perhaps a writing assignment. Um, doing a class reward has a tendency to highlight the students that are struggling because they're the ones that are kind of dragging the class down and preventing them from getting their reward, such as once everyone passes off their twos, we can have 10 minutes of extra recess. Well, then the kids that struggle with multiplication at the class knows who is holding them back. So I like individual rewards because you are working with each student on what motivates them because for each student, obviously it's different. Some might not like recess. So when you sit down with each student and you say, okay, this is where you're at. And I think, and you know that we can both get you to here. Okay. What can we, what would help us? What can we work towards um, in getting us to reach this goal? And you set the goal and then you set the reward. Now, it doesn't have to cost money. A lot of things that students want are free, such as the extra recess. Um, maybe if they reach a certain score on an upcoming test or on a benchmark test, they can sit by a friend for a day or a week. Or um, you can let them have extra recess. We did say that. Um, or they could have 10 minutes of free time on Fridays after lunch or whenever your early day is. Okay, if you can turn in all your assignments during this next unit, I'll give you 10 minutes of extra free time that you can do Friday after lunch. Um, students love that. And for those who love free time, maybe they'll want access to some colored paper you have. If you have kids that like to draw, um, 
maybe they can work towards that award of having access to your special pencils or markers or craft supplies or special paper and they can use that in their free time as well. Um, maybe you have readers, that kids that love to read or look at books and if they can accomplish a goal, maybe to them something to work towards would be to uh, check out an extra book in the library on a specific week. Oh yes, it's very nice! Maybe if they reach a goal, they could be your teacher helper. Maybe they could help with an upcoming assignment or an upcoming science project. Hey, I'm going to need someone to help me fill all these cups with dirt and be kind of my co-pilot on this project. Do you think if we could get you to, you know, get to this level, you could help me with that? I mean, things like that. There's a bunch of free things that don't cost anything that helps kids fill uh, rewarded and cared about and that you're listening to them uh, or maybe you let them bring an object I'll let you have the privilege of bringing a desk object uh, kids love this where they can bring a stuffed animal or they can bring a picture from home or they can have like the putty I know some teachers don't like that but you could let them use putty as long as they're you know visually paying attention to you um, so they could earn the reward of having a desk object for a week or a month, as long as they don't play with it. Obviously, you'd have to set boundaries um, or new markers or small things like that that would motivate students. Some kids are motivated by food or um, a drink or extra recess time. Others are motivated by being sitting by their friends or being able to talk. So these are things you could work with on an individual basis where it's the students' interests that are motivating them to maybe put in a little extra work and help reach their math goals. Okay, the third tip is to help them pick out the manipulatives that you use in math. Now, um, we use manipulatives clear up in the fourth and fifth grade when you're dealing with multiplication. So this can apply to a lot of the grades in early education, but having them pick out which uh, manipulative they use gives them some type of control on the time they spend in math that day. And I did a whole video on some ideas for manipulatives to, um, to increase your students' interest in getting the problems right and using the manipulatives to build their confidence. So allowing them to pick them out and say, uh, asking your students, what would you guys like to use for manipulatives? And give them some options, have them vote on it, or maybe have each student have their own manipulatives that they use um, that only they touch and they keep it in an envelope or in a little box in their desk. And then when math comes, they can pick out the manipulatives they wanna use from what you gave them. But allowing them to have a say in it and have some type of control over it uh, just gets them more involved and increases their, their interest and, and their desire to participate. So again, if you want more ideas on manipulatives, I talk about a lot of ideas in my manipulative video. So you can check that out. Okay, the fourth idea on getting your students interested in math is what I call get up and move. And this is an idea where at least once a week, your math lesson gets them out of their seats. So math is one of the subjects where students stay, usually stay seated for most of the time. When we're doing art or we're reading, we might come to the front and then the back or read with a partner or, or do different reading groups and things like that. Or science, we're more hands-on math it's all about um, focusing and a lot of it is individual work so what i like to do is at least one time during the week you have a math lesson that gets them up out of their seats and you could do all types of lessons with this and it's not necessarily getting them to go from their seat to a group it's that the whole activity they're moving around the classroom so an example of this would be a lesson where it's kind of like a scavenger hunt and a one particular lesson I did was where astronauts were stuck in space and they needed the students to help them figure out the launch codes to launch their rocket back to earth. So the launch codes were the answers to different questions that I had posted around the room. And so students took a little clipboard and they went by, you know, different questions. They wrote down their answer 
and then they put all the numbers together to be the launch code. So that's an example of a lesson where they're moving around the room and they're staying up the entire time. It also gets them to uh, interact with one another and to listen to directions in order to get the correct answers. So for this particular tip, it's getting them up out of their seats and moving for the entire math lesson. And the fifth and final tip I have in this video on how to get your students excited about math is to get them involved by picking out what you're gonna do in that lesson. So you can come up with several choices, laminate them, cut them up and put them in a bucket. And then when it's time for math, they will draw out what the activity will be. Will they get to do the assignment with a friend? Will it be individual work? Will it be using markers and erase folders? They only have to do odds. Maybe they only have to do evens. Maybe they only have to do the word problems. You can put in a bunch of different scenarios in the math bucket. And then once or twice a week, you let students pick how they are going to practice the concept that you just taught them. By doing this, you are breaking up the cycle of the dreaded math where we come in and sit down and do our work and we always do the same thing and they know what to expect and they don't want to do it. But when you have different ways that they can do math, maybe all the boys will do even and maybe all the girls will do odds. I mean, come up with different fun scenarios so that it's different every day, so that they don't know what to expect and they're excited to see what they're gonna pick. So that's my fifth tip for getting your students excited about math. So that's it guys. I hope you have enjoyed and maybe learned something new from this video on how to get your students excited about math. It's a struggle. Uh, it's a learning process and we're all trying to figure new stuff out as we go. If you have some tips that have worked in your class, share them with us in the comments below. We're all here to help each other. And if you haven't subscribed, please take a minute and do so. It is free and it helps us, our nonprofit organization, stay in business and have our little elves make more and more worksheets for you guys and resources that are all free and available on our website at mathinahoodie.com. And again, if you've forgotten, you can apply for a math grant at our website as well. Just click on the tab math grant. Um, we give away math grants every month starting in July 2021 up to $250. So thanks for all you guys do. We love our educators and we'll see you guys next time.